Mr. Do Everything, so, not modestly enough, but at the same time extremely deeply, Victor Vmbanyama described the style of his own game in an interview with the joint venture in the 2020th year. And if you are thinking about these words right now, it means that you probably have never seen what this kid is capable of before. And if you have seen it, then you probably agree 100% with the description of your playstyle proposed by him. So, our hero, a rather difficult surname to pronounce at first glance, was born in France in the city of Les Chessons, located 15 miles from Paris, in a family that was not just connected with sports, but in fact consisted entirely of athletes alone. Victor's mother Elodie de Fada played basketball at a professional level and she was the initiator of her youngest son developing in this sport. Dad was a professional high jumper, and his older sister Eva is also a professional basketball player and at the same time a gold medalist in the French national team at the European Championship 2017 year. In short, why Vimbanyama did not have the question of who he would become there in the future, I think disappears by itself, although at a very early age he started, surprisingly, with football as a goalkeeper and practiced judo. So, constant training with my mother gradually begins to captivate our today's hero and drag him into the world of the best sword game, from which by the time he reaches the age of seven, he finds himself in a team called Entente deprived of Versailles, which Victor spends a considerable three years. The next stage of development in Fimbanyama's career is the transition to the system of the youth team of Nader 92, where, in fact, he not only acquires all the most necessary skills for playing basketball, but also becomes a passing star, from which European and Western scouts are literally going crazy now. Why? Well, as if the answer lies on the surface. Being a 15-year-old schoolboy and playing in the French Under-18 Championship for Nanterre, which by the way made Imbayama the second youngest player in the history of European competitions after Stefan Petkovic, he without exaggeration helps his team to take second place in the championship, provided that on average each player was older than Vita, well, about three years. Then, in February of the 18th, he gets on loan to BC Barcelona, where at the mini Copa del Rey tournament Victor becomes one of the main discoveries of both the team and the tournament as a whole. As a result, the third place in the mini cup with a stat in the final match equal to 16 points and 15 rebounds. But furthermore, some time later, Victor Vmbayama attends the European Under-16 Championship, where for seven matches played, he gets a line of 13 and 7 points, 14 and 6 rebounds, 8 one block shots and 2 interceptions in an average of 36 minutes on the court. Plus, in addition to such impressive figures, the phenomenon from France was in the lead both in the total number of block shots distributed at the tournament, 37, and the share of victories in defense, and also had the third overall result in terms of efficiency among all the players who performed at this tournament. Well, as you know, after such a vivid statement about himself, no scout in Europe or overseas could not help but pay attention to the video. In almost every report, you could read about the incredible talents and dimensions of the guy, about his ability to run fast, pass well, defend fantastically on the perimeter and near the basket and his literally gift, which is called coordination. Agree, when your height is already approaching the mark of 2 to 10 by the age of 16, and you perform moves at the level of many forwards, or even point guards, then it's really strong. However, this was still far from the limit. In the 2020th, the French bigman goes to the Adidas Next General Tournament qualifying tournament, after which it becomes clear in principle that a Victor Vembayama. This is a phenomenon that definitely needs to be observed. B. If he continues to perform at the same level, then his quotes in many draft picks will reach the level of top 3-top 1. And in Luca Docici, you know, it seems that a real competitor appears, moreover, not grown somewhere within the walls of American schools, as we are used to, but located directly here in Europe. At the same Adidas next generation, for four duels played, Vidya sets a record for block shots at the tournament. In a victorious match over Zaragoza, he shoots 22 points, collects 15 props and hangs 8 block shots, which also becomes a record. Along the way, he takes the award of the best player for himself and makes his stat line look very, very threatening at a serious level. Plus, it is impossible not to note how Vitek predicted in the game plan. Vision of the court, ball control, playing in high and low positions, the ability to quickly switch in defense, the ability to ensure, the ability to attack inside outside the perimeter. All this, performed by the French freshman, has reached a completely new level. But he was not even 17 years old at that time. Wow. Of course, after such a successful start at the youth level, 
Victor Vmbanyama gradually came to the point that he needed to somehow begin to solve the question of which path to follow in general. If anything, there were a lot of options for the development of events, from the simplest, where he would stay in the Nanterra system, for which he spent a considerable seven years and became the best player in the NLB Pro League in the last season, to the banal acceptance of an offer from conditional Barcelona, which literally pined for our hero and which would help Vida to declare herself not only on the most serious and at the adult level, but also from a team whose name is quoted far beyond Europe. However, neither of these things happens. Due to the fact that Victor Corny did not intend to leave France, he decided on June 29 to sign a three-year agreement with a team called Oswell, actually for which in season 21-22 he performed quite well and confidently. In the EuroLeague, working virtually always against players 5, 10, 12 years older than themselves, Bimbanyami manages to show very good figures. 6.5 points, 3, 8 rebounds, 1 and 9 blocked shots on average for 13 matches played. Yes, someone looking at these numbers will say what? And you call this a cool and good result? But gentlemen, I think I said earlier that Vitek, at the age of 17 or 18, not only played matches against players much older and more experienced than himself, but he also did it in a new team, which, taking into account all these factors, I think can be considered a success. Plus, among other things, due to a fracture of the little finger and a bruise of the bone of the right shoulder, he never finished his debut season in the Euro League, and it is difficult to fully understand how much our today's hero could still have predicted if not for all these injuries. But if this is not enough for you, then the fact that will definitely have to convince you is the performance of Victor Bimbanyama at the Under-19 World Championship. Then, in my subjective opinion, Vitya revealed himself in full, among almost his peers, if he was still younger than everyone by about a year, and being coached in games against older men and most often stronger than himself, he scored an average of 14 points, 7 and 4 rebounds and rode out 5 and 7 block shots, simultaneously becoming the unconditionally best in this aspect. For comparison, so that you understand the difference, if Vitya had a World Cup record with 40 block shots in one tournament or another, then his closest pursuer, Hey K. Chet Hamarin, only had them. 19. Speaking of him. Machap Hamran against Imbayama was definitely the decoration of that world championship and even lost this face-to-face -face fight in my subjective opinion. By the time of the final whistle, the Frenchman had scored 22 points plus 8 blocked shots in the gold match, and he was naturally unstoppable on the floor. The American collected a modest 10 points plus 2 rebounds. Yes, the USA eventually prevailed and took the gold medals for themselves, the report was awarded the title of MVP, but do not forget that, first of all, this game was won with a minimum margin of only two points, and Victor Vmbayama fought against not just players a year older than himself, but also against the national team in which Jaden was Ivy and Kenny Lofton. So try to draw conclusions yourself. After the World Cup was over, and our hero of today finally secured the status of a super-talented European star, Everyone from scouts to SSP reporters began to talk about Victor as a player whom the NB world had never met before. That's what, for example, I was talking to MV not scouting athletic. Vmbayama is one of the most impressive potential players I've ever seen. Its dimensions are outrageous and comparable only to the dimensions of Rudy Haber and Mark Williams. Unsurprisingly, this makes him a terrific blocking player. This year, he led the EuroLeague in the number of blocked shots with a score of 1 and 9 on average per game, although he only played 13 matches. But what makes him really special is that he's not limited to just running and blocking shots like Gobert or Williams. In Imbanyama, he moves like a guy 12 to 15 centimeters below his height, he has amazing coordination, he is not very explosive, but his balance is wild for a person with such a height. This allows him to be a phenomenal defender and effectively switch from the weak side of the court. He is thin, but not like Holmgreen, which makes his offensive play look much more variable and dominant. He is practically unstoppable near the ring, and the ability to stretch the defense of opponents of the threat from behind the arc makes him one of the most dangerous attacking options for the future. Vimpanyama is now doing everything from blocking shots to scoring at all three levels in attack. In the period up to the 23rd of June, when he will be able to be selected in the draft, of course, a lot can change, but so far all the signs exist and indicate that Banyama will be the next big event in a little concern, however, cause injuries that marred his debut in the EuroLeague, but when Vanyama is healthy, he is truly unstoppable and shows glimpses of why he is the number one prospect in the 23rd year draft.
Of course, now there will be doubters and critics of his height, lean figure and much more, but Victor is ready to prove that they are all wrong. And you know, here I probably agree 100% with Sam's opinion, seeing that there is still a whole year left before he can put up his candidacy for the draft. He has experience of performing in the international arena, while quite large and extremely good. Plus, he has already been announced for the French national team, which will play at the 22nd European Championship, which will allow our hero to finally run in the same team with his friend Dash mentor like Gober and he has every chance to pump his game even stronger. Speaking of injuries, we managed to get the opinion of a physiotherapist who worked with Victor in one of the teams where he had already played. It's clear that unfortunately I can't tell you either the name or the team, everything is strictly on condition of anonymity, but just take my word for it. In short, the questions that we asked and to which we received answers have already been exclusively published in our Telegram channel, so follow the link in the description, read and if you like such content, then subscribe. And while you're doing it, let me tell you this. Despite the fact that the president of Asphalt, with whom Victor Vembayama signed a contract for three years, is Tony Parker and with whom he has excellent relations and because of whom, by the way, everything seemed to be going to be built around a young French talented newcomer, he decided to leave unexpectedly after the end of the current team season, signing an agreement with Metro 92. Why he did this, no one has an exact answer. There is an opinion that this happened due to the departure of the main players of the face of Elio Koba and Chris Johnson. Perhaps there are some other reasons here that you and I don't know about, but omitting this fact, one thing can be understood now, Victor Vimpanyama is already almost at the top of the list of the draft class of 2023 year. And if it happens that neither injuries nor adaptation in the new team will affect his game, then next year we will definitely see what this guy is capable of in the best league in the world.